Hey, good afternoon. This is Craig Martell, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 21, getting organic reviews. And this is also a review of me using a, a different computer to live stream because uh, my, old, my, my new one seems to be struggling. This one working great, Microsoft Surface Pro. Getting organic reviews, it starts with, you have to write a great book, and then you have to sell lots of copies of it. Initially, I was seeing numbers of one review out of every 100 sales. That's uh, not bad. It's not a bad number, a good ballpark number to work with. So 1,000 sales, you might get 10 reviews. And 1,000 sales, hey, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good day, pretty good sale of that, uh, that book. But you, gotta, you have to ask. It's not something people naturally do. They will re leave a review on Goodreads because on Amazon, if they're reading on the Kindle, there's an automatic link to go to Goodreads and say, yes, I'll leave a few stars and some words or whatever might work. But on Amazon, you kind of have to ask them, please go to Amazon and review this book. You can give them a, a certain Amazon link, go to this book, leave me a review. And the most important thing you can do is you appeal to your readers. Let me, let me shut this thing off. Appeal to your readers. You have to ask your readers to do this, and then and then uh, they will. If they're fans, they will leave it. Uh, you have to ask in your social media channels, whether you use Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and say, hey, guys, I can't believe I only have nine reviews. I need 10. Tens of, we, we like round numbers, whatever call to action you might use. The, the biggest and best way is in your back matter, because then you'll know that the readers got to that end and say, hey, here, if you really like this, please leave me a review. I love reviews. Uh, they tell me that the book is on track. It uh, keeps me motivated to write the next book. And if they do want to see another book, uh, hey, I need those reviews. And then uh, in your newsletter, make it a call to action in the newsletter as you send a note out saying, oh, by the way, it'll be three months before my next book. Uh, here's what's going on in my life. And oh, by the way, we've got 18 reviews. I need 25. 25 is a magic number. Uh, and, but if I can get 50, then uh, Amazon will send me a unicorn. Um, and everybody knows that they want their favorite author to have a unicorn. So they should leave your review. Good call to action. And then three, write more great books. When you have a lot of books and a lot of reviews, people get in, jump on board, and uh, and drop you a few kind words as well. And hopefully that is, uh, is what it takes. It takes a great book. If you've written a book and you ask people to give reviews and they won't give reviews, it means that they don't want to hurt your feelings because they might not have liked the book. So don't take it, don't take it personally, but then dig in and hey, what's wrong with the book then? <clears throat> if you've sold a thousand copies of the book and you have no reviews, then good on you for being likable enough that nobody wants to hurt your feelings with a bad review. Uh, now bad on you in that now you can't get that feedback to get better. Uh, so uh, maintain that dialogue, find those folks who are fans and what what is going on? Why won't we get reviews? Because I, I believe that there's something wrong with the book. Please help me to understand. I'll write a better book. I'll tweak it. I'll do what I need to do. So those are uh, those are ways to convince your your team, your readers, <clears throat> in what to do. Uh, people do advanced reader copies. I do not, where they send out X number of copies to readers in advance for a uh, an honest review. Uh, but then if you cut them off. Uh, of the arc, if they give you a bad review, then it's not quite honest, is it? So uh, I, I don't, I, I don't like the uh, arcs. A lot of people use them. TradPub has been using them for decades, and, and uh, that's how they launch a book. And all of a sudden, there's a thousand reviews, and everybody loves this book and loves this author. And and uh, there's so much love in the air. Geez, I got to get in on that. Let me buy the book. Uh, that's uh, kind of a, like kind of manipulation. A lot of times, it's a good book, and and they want to get it ahead of time. That's cool too. It helps if uh, if they uh, if they buy the book or borrow it in Kindle Unlimited. If they buy it, great, yeah, and Amazon shows up as a verified review. But it, ask, ask, let the people know that reviews are important to you, and that's probably the most important thing that you can do to help them help you. And that's uh, as an author, usually it's one way: we educate, we entertain, and uh, we never hear anything back. This is their way to say have a conversation with us, uh, their author, uh, and now. Uh, 21st century, more so than ever before, people can talk with somebody that they read and and uh, they like their books and it's like, hey, this is an author. Oh my God, my favorite author. I can I can send them an email. I can uh, leave a review. I can uh, have a conversation. All good stuff. Treat your readers like gold. <clears throat> that helps a lot. But uh, organic, back matter, newsletter, 
uh, social media channels, call to action. Please, can you leave a review? Thank you very much. All right, everybody, that's it. Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, Episode 21, and we will talk to you later.